Hey everyone so today we are talking about something pretty exciting ZEA just dropped their newest model GLM 4.7 and I have been playing around with it for a little while now I got to say this thing is really impressive all right so let me walk you through what I found GLM 4.7 is a legitimate step up like not just a small improvement we are talking about noticeable gains across the board so what makes this model different well for starters the benchmark scores are really looking great They are showing about a 6% boost on Swi Bench compared to the last version. The multilingual version of that benchmark went up by around 13%, and on Terminal Bench, it's scoring somewhere in the 16% range. Now I know benchmark don't tell the whole story, but these numbers do line up with what I have been seeing in actual use. The model just feels smarter, you know. One thing that really caught my attention is how well it handles complex tasks now. If you are using frameworks like cloud code or client this model fits right in it understand what you are asking far way better than before and the ui quality has gotten a serious upgrade when you ask it to create web pages or create slide decks the output just look cleaner more modern better layouts proper sizing it's not just generating those junky interfaces anymore all right so let me talk about tool uses for a second this is where glm 4.7 really shines they have made huge improvement here the model can now handles tools way more effectively it's performing better on benchmarks like t2 bench and browse camp which basically means it can navigate tasks that require using multiple tools in sequence that's pretty important for real world applications and the math and reasoning capabilities get a big boost too They are reporting a 42.8% score on the HLE benchmark. That's up from what GLM 4.6 was getting. And based on my experience with these models, I don't think they are just optimizing for benchmarks. These improvement feel genuine when you actually use the model. Now, one thing I really appreciate about ZEA is that they keeping their models open source. Like you can actually download the weight and run this thing yourself if you want. That's becoming less common these days. A lot of companies are keeping everything locked down, but ZEA is still committed to that open approach, which is awesome. All right, let me show you what this model can actually do. I ran it through my usual set of tests to see how it perform in the real world, and honestly, some of these result really blow my mind. So I'm gonna walk you through three different coding challenges I gave it, and you will see exactly what I mean. First test, I ask it to build me a simple e-commerce admin dashboard. You know the kind of store owner used to track orders, revenue, and products. A clean layout with summary card for total sales, orders, and customers. A decent order table and a basic products list with status pages. And honestly, it crushed this one. The dashboard layout come together perfectly with the modern grid system and subtle hover effect. The stats card updated from mock data smoothly. The order table was sortable and the status labels were color coded automatically. It even added a small sale chart that I did not even ask for, which was a nice bonus. The whole interface felt polished and easy to use and it just worked immediately, no fixes needed. So for second test, I wanted something more challenging. So I asked it to create a typing speed test game. I want this to show random paragraphs to type, real time WPM calculation, accuracy tracking and a timer. This one came out really solid. It generated a clean interface with the text to type displayed at the top. As you type, it highlights correct letter in green and mistakes in red. The WPM counter update in real time as you are typing. Once you finish, it shows you final speed and accuracy percentage. It even included a restart button and different difficulty test as well. The only minor thing was the sentence pool was small, but the core functionality was flawless. Next, I ask it to build an interactive drawing canvas app, something where you can draw, change colors. adjust brush sizes and save your work this is actually pretty tricky because you need to handle most events canvas api stuff and state management and it handle it surprisingly well the canvas work perfectly well you can draw smooth lines switch between different colors the brush size slider was also responsive it also added an eraser tool and a clear canvas button it would download your drawing as a png file There were a couple minor tweaks I had to make with the color picker styling but overall it was a like 95% there for a single shot generation that's pretty impressive too so based on these tests and a bunch of others I have run where does this model actually rank well on my personal leaderboard for coding models 
it's sitting in the third place right now. That puts this above Sonnet 4.5 and definitely above GPT 5.2. It's slightly below Opus in terms of pure code quality and it's below Gemini 3 Pro for one shot questions. But here is the interesting thing. When you need the model to work through longer, more complex tasks and multiple steps, GLM 4.7 actually outperforms Gemini in a lot of cases. Gemini sometimes loses the thread on extended workflows, but GLM stays focused on keeps delivering. Now let's talk about why this model matters. First of all, it's the best open source coding model right now. If you are doing AE assisted coding, this should be on your radar. It's fast, the AP is cheap and the quality is consistently high. And because the weights are open, you can use it through third party providers too. I have been using it with Synthetic and that's been working great. Wordat is also planning to integrate it soon, which is what I normally use. So you will have option for how you access this model. Honestly, this feels like a better option than Sonnet for a lot of tasks. And if you combine it with Opus for certain workflows, you can get some really powerful result. Now it's not quite as good as Opus overall, but it's definitely better than Gemini in most coding scenarios. And when you compare the price of Gemini Flash to GLM 4.7, Gemini seems overpriced. You are getting way more value with GLM. One thing that's improved a lot is ability to stay on task. Previous version would sometime get buggy during long operations, but that seems completely fixed now. It can work on one task for extended period without losing focus. That's why it performs so well on these benchmarks. Alright, so let me address something people have been asking about, the coding plan. A lot of people want to know if the model reasons are if it's just generate code. And yes, it does reason, but the thinking traces are not exposed in the API for the coding plan, at least not for what I have been able to find. So the model is the same, it's thinking through problem. You just cannot see that internal reasoning process. But considering the price, I think it's absolutely worth it. You are getting a really capable model for not much money. Now there is few limitation to keep in mind. The model's knowledge cutoff is around mid to late 2024. So if you need information about very recent events, you might need to supplement it with web search. And the context window is 202k tokens, which is pretty standard these days. The pricing is 44 cent per million input tokens and about $1.74 per million output token. That's competitive with GPT model but significantly cheaper than Cloud. Alright, so how do you actually get started with this model? You can use it directly through ZAI chatbot interface. Just select GLM 4.7 and you can enable thinking mode too. You can also access it through the hugging face model card if you want to run it locally. If you want free AP access, Kilo code is probably your best bet. It's an open source AI agent and it comes with the free AP access to GLM models. And there is also LM Arena where you can test it out for free either in battle mood or direct chat. I have been using Kilo code mostly because it's just easy to set up. You install the extension in your IDE, select GLM 4.7 as your provider and you are good to go. So yes, overall GLM 4.7 is really strong model, especially for coding and front end works. It's not perfect, but it's the best open source option available right now. And the fact that it's this cheap make it even better. If you are working on any kind of development project, I would definitely recommend giving it a try. Alright, that's about it for this video. Let me know what do you think in the comments. Have you tried GLM 4.7 yet? What's the experience been like? And if you found this helpful, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and I will see you in the next video.